We have a curve, suppose a parabola, so there are many points on it and for every point we can find the gradient. Now let's see what about the reverse situation. Suppose we know the gradient and we have to find the point. That means we know that there is the gradient for a particular point. We have to figure out what that point is. So that is just the reverse. It should not be any different. Let's see. So the question here is calculate the points on the curve with equation this at which the gradient is equals to 16. So let's do this. Let's find the gradient of the curve. So derivative of y is dy by dx which is known as the gradient. The derivative of 7x squared is 7 to the 14x minus 3x squared. Now given dy by dx or the gradient is equal to 16. So now we know that the gradient is equal to 16. Therefore the expression for the gradient which is 14x minus 3x squared equals to 16. So we can write minus 3x squared plus 14x minus 16 equals to 0. So what we can do is uh, we can multiply by negative sign. We can write 3x squared minus 14x plus 16 equals to 0. So now we have to do, uh, this is a quadratic equation and we have to do middle term break to solve this quadratic equation. So let's try to do this. This is going to be uh, a bit difficult because the numbers are large. So 3 into 16 is 48 and we need 14. So 48, how can we break 48? Well, we can break it as uh, 24 into 2, that's 48. So if we add 24 with 2, we get 26. If we subtract, we get 22. It doesn't work. Other simpler thing is, we know the tables of 6. 6 eights are 48. Well, if we add, we get 14. So we can use this. So we can write 3x squared. Now we need minus 48. So for that, we will need minus 8x minus 6x. So that would ensure minus 48. So let's take x common here. We cannot take anything else common. So it would be 3x minus 8. Now, uh, this is 16. So now let's take 2 common here. This will be 3x minus 8 equals to 0. So if we take 3x minus 8 common, we will get x minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to 8 by 3 or x equals to 2. So we got two values of x. Now, a point is made up of both x coordinate and y coordinate. It's an ordered pair. So we have to find the values of y also from here. So we have to write when x equals to 8 by 3, what is the value of y? So y equals to, this is, this is the equation, so y equals to 7. 8 by 3 whole square minus 8 by 3 whole cubed. So this is going to give us a value and when x equals to 2, we're going to get y equals to 7, 2 squared minus 2 cubed. So this is going to give us another value. So the answer is going to be x coordinate first, y coordinate and then we write the other x coordinate and the other y coordinate. Mm -hmm.